All right, welcome back, Odoers. Jose Ignacio here. Now, as you already know, social media is a powerful tool that companies use to boost brand awareness and to expand their customer base. Now, here at Stealthywood, we're no different. We are always expanding because we're hungry. We're literally sharks. However, while most businesses waste time jumping back and forth between different platforms, you know, to manage their social media outlets, we use Odoo's social media marketing app. And that makes sure that we take care of all of our social media needs in one easy to use social interface. Now, with Odoo Social Marketing, your company can increase brand awareness, connect with customers, you can boost leads, which also boosts revenue. And everyone loves revenue. You gotta chase that stock ticker. And it also easily allows you to engage with everything and everyone in a single centralized software. There's a reason we're always saying we are all in one. We are AIO. I'm getting excited again. So let's jump into our Stealthywood database and see just how easy it is to manage every aspect of your social media accounts with Odoo. All right, Odooers, let's start on our social marketing dashboard. Now here, you're going to find all of your linked social media accounts and also their posts, which is both also useful. Now, as you can see from ours, we have the Stealthywood Facebook account already added here. But let's add another social media stream right now. And oh, that sounds difficult. Well, it's not. All you have to do is click add a stream up here. Now, we can add a stream from an existing account, or we can actually add a new one from any of the options that we have over here below. In our case, let's add Stealthywood's Twitter account. So we're going to select Twitter. We got to authorize it because that's the very first thing that we need to do. Then once you do all that, you're back over here. And just like that, Odoo automatically added our Twitter account to our dashboard. Now, the other thing that we could do here, now that we're moving on, by the way, is you can actually directly engage with posts on the social marketing dashboard as well. You don't just have to view them anymore. As you'll notice over here, look at that. We have a recent post. We have a lot of stuff that we can interact and do with this as well. And these are just a few of the options. Now, let's see how that looks like on our actual Facebook feed. So, we're going to go over here. And here we are on the Stealthywood Facebook page. And as you'll notice, there's our comments. There's our engagement. And isn't that awesome? Now, we're actually going to go back over to social marketing. Now, not only can you link accounts and you can interact with posts, you can also quickly access in-depth analytics about each account via their respective and specific platforms, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or pretty much any of these. Now, how do we do that? Well, you actually just have to click on this insights link here, and then you'll notice it'll redirect you over here. Now, this is useful if you ever actually need any additional data related to your posts or account. So this is where you would find that. But now we're also going to go back over here. Now, another feature of Odoo's social marketing application is that it allows users to retweet or quote tweet, you know, things directly from the dashboard. Now, that could be pretty useful for a few different companies. And it's also good if you want to very quickly move through information. Now, you'll notice in the bottom corner of, e well, the bottom right corner, by the way, I should always explain this to people who are listening. You'll find this familiar retweet icon. Now, when you click it, you'll notice you'll have the option to retweet or to quote tweet. If we select retweet here, Odoo automatically retweets that tweet for you. A lot of tweeting. <laughs> uh, that's a no doopsie. And if we select quote tweet, as you can see here, a pop-up appears in which you can see the tweet you are quoting along with a text field where you can add an additional message and click post as well. And that on its own is pretty useful. But now let's assume that you don't want to do any of that. Well, Odooers, I always give you options. So now let's create a new social post. Now with Odoo, you can create a post from multiple platforms all at once. So we click new post and we're going to select our options that we want to use for this. And then you want to type up a message and you want to say something. Since we are stealthy wood, we're just going to say buy our wood. And then our hashtag is wood and SW. It's perfect. Now, you'll also notice that we have an image on the right that kind of shows us what this is going to look like. So we can actually post up our preview images over here. 
In our case, I'm going to put a non-broken chair. Non-broken. Now, you'll also notice on the post on field, I can also choose to post this on the push notifications for my website. If I select my website here, this post will now pop up on my website for anyone who is subscribed to my website push notifications. Now, to do so, obviously, you want to make sure that the box next to enable web push notifications, WPN, for my acronym lovers. You want to make sure that feature is checked in the website settings for this to work properly. If you don't have it set up properly, you may run into problems. Now, I just want to post this on Facebook and Twitter, though, so I'm going to uncheck that other option so I don't run into problems. Now, we could also choose to attach this post to a certain campaign, but we'll leave that blank for now and just select Send Now in the Win field. And then we post. Now, let's hop back over to our dashboard to see this brand new post. So actually, we're going to actually click feed. And there we have it. Ah, beautiful, beautiful little doers. There's our latest post on both social media accounts. And if we go to each of these social media platforms, first one. And then there we have it. Now for the next one. And there we have it, oh doers. Let's go back. And you'll notice that was beautiful. Now. Let's click on posts over here on our post page. Now we'll find all of our posts and pertinent information about each one. There are many different views to utilize on this page as well. As you'll notice, we have calendar view. Now when a date is selected in this calendar view, and we're gonna pick any, Odoo takes you to a blank post page. Now why do you think that is, Odooers? Well, it's so that you can create a post. Now you can create anything you'd like using the same process we just showcased moments ago. You could literally post on Facebook and Twitter. And there's our message, just a sample. Then when we're ready, we'd simply hit over here to the schedule and Oda will automatically post our contact the day and time that we actually chose. And tell me that isn't super cool. Now, once that you're all done with that, Odoo handles everything automatically, Odooers. But we're going to head back over here to the calendar view via the breadcrumbs. And today it's sourdough. And there you see it, already scheduled. Now, I'm moving fast and forward. So if you need to pause at any time, go ahead, Odooers. You've earned a break. Now let's see how we can create leads directly from a social post or a comment. Because I know a lot of people want to do that. They want that added engagement. Now for that, we'll want to head back to the social marketing dashboard. And so there we are, and we were going to select any one of our posts. Pick one at random if you would like. Now, in this pop-up, we see the posts, the comments, and the engagement. But you'll also notice there are three dots next to the post. Now, when clicked, the option to create leads appears, or create lead. So let's select that, because it is quite obvious. Now, when we do so, another pop-up appears. Here we have a few options. We could create a new customer, which would create a customer profile for that specific commenter. And we also could link this comment to an existing company or customer. Oh, doopsie there. Saying a lot of similar words today. And we would do so by just clicking onto this link to an existing customer option right there. Or we could also choose to keep things separate by doing the do not link to a customer. In our case, let's go with create a new customer. And then converts. Odoo then takes us to a new request from that customer. After we do that, we can further edit and modify all sorts of information. We could even mark this opportunity as won or lost, but hopefully you didn't lose anyone. And if we head over to our CRM application right now, and there you have it. We'll see that the very same lead that we generated from the social post comment in the new stage of our pipeline in this beautiful Kanban view. And if we click it, as you have it, um, to no one's surprise, it is the same information that we just generated right now. And if we select the customer here, we'll be taken to their newly created customer profile, which Odoo made for us automatically, allowing us to fill in all of the necessary you know, fields in just a few clicks. And I'm telling you, that is a time saver, Odooers. Now then, as you can see, with Odoo Social Marketing, managing your company's social media accounts has never been easier. So stay tuned. 
But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And as a quick addendum, if you like this video, please leave a nice comment. I'm going to pick somebody randomly in one of these videos. I'm going to send you a swag package. Have a great day. Go eat a snack.